my phone again. <laughs> Maybe make a trademark out of it. Hello, I'm Cameron Johnson, 16-year-old bus rider with... Already? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you, Cameron. Oh, boy, Cameron. Uh, <laughs> Hello, I'm Cameron Johnson, 16-year-old bus rider with Opal Bus Riders Unite. This time, I'm not just speaking for Opal. I'm speaking for everyone who is even the slightest bit involved with tournament, because it's no longer just riders or just union members. Recently, a letter was released from General Manager McFarland to the union regarding a looming health care debacle, in a form of what seemed like a veiled threat stated that if the workers didn't comply to new, new health care, that China would execute another 10 million in service cuts. Now, I'm not, I'm sure I'm not the only one who thinks that this sounds like a devious threat. Think about it, it it's borderline extortion. If the union were to still press on for their benefits, China would open up the trap door on bus riders and be able to say, if only your bus drivers had only complied to our terms, terms, then you would not have suffered. Then everyone's going to go up in arms against the drivers in the union. But if the writers go up in arms about this, then Newton will see this as a force to concede and swallow the pill of a harsh blow to their benefits. Then the writers are spared, but the drivers are going to have the writers to blame for their suffering. Or it could go neither way. The union presses on, writers get cut, and then the union still loses in the end with their health benefits. Then everyone's fighting with everyone. What you're forcing with this really cruel negotiation ploy will all but end in a riot. In some places, there's already an unfortunate schism between the general public and bus drivers. This is just going to make it worse. And it's not like you can't get $10 million anywhere else. Do I need to bring up that over-the-top over salaries, massive planning and consultants into future capital projects, advertising West Works on buses in Gresham? Mm -hmm. Also, how about the oh, fact that you Cameron actually buddy, spend man. money Go playing for classical music on the max? <laughs> I mean, I'd much rather know that my Whoa, bus works than a train I'll probably never ride, which never works anyways. My point is, instead of fessing up and being responsible, you're starting to blind the drivers and the riders of China into finding each other when you're hiding the fact the only culprit here is you. You need to realize that the drivers and the riders are worth so much. They're your backbone. They're your profit. It's high time. You took a moment and tried to benefit them instead of screwing them all over in one fell sweep. And there are so many other ways you can get $10 million. We all do so much for you. Isn't it time you really did something for us? Wow. Thanks, Cameron. All right, Cameron. You know yeah!